In this makeup tutorial, we'll be going and doing a fake scar that goes across your face like this with fake stitches. So, let's get started. First, start off by marking the area where you want to go and put this with red powdered cosmetic. Also, make sure too, because we're going to be using liquid latex, that you are not allergic to it, so do a patch test before you go and put anything down. And also, make sure that you don't have this line in your eyebrow or over your eye. Now put down a very thin layer of liquid latex where the red line is that you went and put down earlier. This is going to go and help to get the cotton to really stick down. And also you do need this so you're not going to have to really have all those cotton stick to your fingers. It helps. Now put cotton on this line of liquid latex that you put down. And continue to go all the way down to the bottom of the line. As you can see it does get a little bit sticky if the latex hasn't fully dried. But that's okay. Go back over it again with more liquid latex. The liquid latex is going to pick up some of the cotton as well, but also too, as this dries, as long as you pick up the cotton, don't fully and totally smooth it, it's going to look pretty cool. And you might get little pieces that do come off every so often. Just push it back down into the liquid latex. Now cut some pieces of string while the latex dries. It's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes for it to fully dry. After it's dry, go back over it again with red powdered cosmetic. This is going to make it look really inflamed and add to the whole thing. After the powdered cosmetic is down, go and add more cosmetic. This is going to be red cosmetic that is water-based or maybe grease-based depending on what you have. You could always use just lipstick, liquid eyeliner, anything like that that you have that is red. This should be a very bright red that you go and paint on top of the latex. Try not to get it too much on the sides. And then go and add a very light brown cosmetic to the side to give this a small amount of a shadow. Go down the entire length of the fake scar and try to find some of the areas that are divoted and a little bit deeper. From there, go and add fake blood to the top of the liquid latex. Really blend it in. There's going to be a lot of texture to the scar, so you might need to go pretty heavy on the fake blood. I went over this with just about three to four coats of the fake blood that I have. You may need more, you may need less, depending on how intense you want this to look. After you have the fake blood down, you're going to start to put on all of the little tiny pieces of string that you cut. The ends you can wet with a small amount of liquid latex, and then you can go and press it on both sides of where the fake cut is. Try not to get this into the fake cut though, because the fake blood might make it very hard for this to stick down. When you are done, your makeup should look like this. Thank you for watching. I am posting 31 days of Halloween makeup, special effects makeup, and also spooky makeup. Thank you again for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.